What's the deal with the cows? Well, we took the cars well out of their comfort zone. That was the main thing. Uh, and they need round, rounding up. I mean, the farm is... How big was it? 3.2 million, million acres. Million acre. Million <laughs> acre. Which is... And so, when you, we look into the 4,000 cows... Now, we could have been in the equivalent of Southampton, and they could have been in Harwich, or Banbury, or Dover. It's that big. That's how big the farm is. And they might so have I said in the, one corner as exactly, well. Exactly. Yeah. So I said to the farmer, how are you going to find them? He said, don't worry, I'll put them all in one paddock for you. I said, oh, that's very kind. I should make it easier. How big is a paddock? You went 39,000 acres. That's a paddock! <laughs> <laughs> paddock. It's, if you don't live in the country, that's meaningless, isn't it? Just... Australia needs a new unit of measurement because the acre is simply <laughs> not big enough. When they've got a 3.2 million acre farm, you can't, <laughs> I can't get my head around that. And every unit of distance... Everything they is say, wrong. How long does it take to get to the shop? Ah, it's about 18 hours. <laughs> There's no point having a shop that's 18 hours away from where you live. So they do need to sort of, a bit like the Italian lira, you know, it got silly when a cup of coffee was 10,000 lira. It just doesn't work. So you get the euro and it becomes more sensible. But it was a brilliant trip, that. We love the North Territories. What, Richard, what was the around. giant, basically, hole in the ground? Well, it? it was a big hole in the ground. It yeah. was an old mine. What did they mine? No, it's not old. It's, it, they're just well, shutting it's it down just now. just shutting they're, down now. All the steel that built Shanghai came out of that hole in the ground. It's a really big hole and we decided to make a good racetrack. And a lot of dust. Yeah, yeah but what happens, dust. though, if you... You go over the edge and into the bottom of the hole. Death follows very Death. shortly, yeah. yeah. It goes oh, sky instant. ground, sky ground, black. Oh, you'd be killed. That's <laughs> about what? Five, how deep was it? I'm not very good at it. Well, Australia is probably oh, about 4,000 miles. <laughs> 100 kilometres. It's and all the way down. So if you came off there, yeah. you'd go all the way down there and then you'd arrive there smashed. You'd, you'd still be falling. Yeah. It it's is big. That, that digger that you can see down the bottom, which just looks like a digger, that's actually about the size of the Houses of Parliament. It's massive. It is genuinely huge. But weren't you scared? Yeah. No. No, because we're incredibly oh, brave. Well. No, but you'll see... Only <laughs> one honest answer. James at the end went, yes. I am. No, the thing I is, like you'll advice. see why James isn't scared. Yes. In the oh, film. Yes. <laughs> Clever. Good yeah. tease. James. Yes, Christian. Now, I know, couldn't help but notice that the Northern Territory, I've been out there, right, doesn't have a lot of five-star hotels. No. So I'm taking it you were camping. Yeah, uh, yes. I don't want to give too much away again, as Richard Hammond would say, because I can't quite remember where we stayed, but I remember that it... Why? What happened? Was <laughs> it that traumatic? <laughs> well, it wasn't, it wasn't luxurious, no, but it wasn't terrible, was it? And how do you get on camping? I don't see you as a camper. We've we do it a, a lot. lot. He, you they love, love it. it. They love it. I can't stop them. He camping. loves it. And it's not so bad in Australia, to be honest, because the temperature is hot. Pleasant yeah. in the evening. You know, it drops down to about 130 degrees. <laughs> 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 I mean, we've camped in the Himalayas, and that was the only time ever that James has called me Jeremy, normally Clarkson or other words. And um, I tried to stay warm by this pitiful fire that had been built. And I walked past James's tent to get to mine at uh, one in the morning or something, and I just heard this... He just went, Jeremy, from inside his tent. I'm very unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got into my tent and discovered why. It was horrible. Because my pillow had been provided by the BBC, and it was full of damp gravel. <laughs> <laughs> James, how do you keep your hair in such amazing condition on all those road trips around the world. <laughs> I'm, I'm not making this up. It was the biggest thing they wanted me to ask you. Turtle wax. <laughs> <laughs>